Okay, here I am again, excited for the uh, next dish. It's really simply chicken skewers. Chicken skewers, so we've got our little skewer sticks here, right? That They just make everything more festive. And of course, I'm not gonna just let this chicken be by itself. He's gonna be quite lonely. So I'm gonna introduce my bell peppers. And I'm, I'm using, of course, pineapple as well for the added sweet to this. Of course, some people might wanna use onions, for example, if I stick um, shrimp in here. But this is gonna be the basic mix, recipe mix, and you can do that to shrimp. It's gonna be hard to do with fish because it's not gonna hold up in your skewers, but shrimp would be brilliant. Shrimp, bell pepper, pineapple, shrimp, bell pepper, pineapple, you can do that as well, all right? So listen carefully because I'm gonna teach you the marinade and the mix that you can do for fish, for chicken, and for shrimp. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, never's waiting for you. Enjoy. <laughs> so I have uh, chicken breasts, right? Uh, not too much, maybe this is about half a kilo of chicken breast. And as usual, my favorites. By now you know on Sabrina's Kitchen, my favorites and my absolute essentials are of course my cumin and the turmeric. I drink it, I put it on my meats. I like to use my oregano and my dried basil. I'm gonna introduce that into this as well. So Italian seasoning, we'll start with just a bit of that. Now of course you can also use your basil, you can use just a bit of thyme into this too, especially for the seafood, for the pork. I love the thyme and rosemary, but anyway, this is my basic, right? Of course, my cumin. Love it. Love it onto this. Okay, so for barbecues, really you want cumin, calamansi, and soy. This is a little different. I'm not going to put some soy into this. I use a regular salt, but it's a basic barbecue dish. Cumin, calamansi, and soy. Oh, brilliant. So I'm putting in my calamansi to this with my Italian. Got some parsley in there, that's all right. And then last but not least, just a bit of cumin because I like that gold to pop. Huh? And it will complement my pineapple and my bell peppers wonderfully well. Okay, so now that I've done that, just a touch, just a pinch for color, right? Now that I've done that, I'm ready to start to grill, cheat, grill my skewers here, okay? And then of course you're gonna have some fun and use your hands. You know I didn't salt and pepper this yet, right? So you know the calamansi and the cumin and of course that turmeric, it's just, ah, wonderful. Wonderful into my... Uh... Okay, so a lot of people, they, they ask me, how come you get that nice uh, burn, that nice look onto your chicken, onto your skewers? because I'm not gonna put the oil into my pan, not too much. I'm gonna put the olive oil into my chicken, right? So we know that chicken breast is not too fatty, not, not much fat there, so I'm gonna have to introduce some olive oil so it cooks nicely, okay? And then let's see, uh-huh, just some salt. So how's our color looking, you think? Should need a little more color there, right? Very definitely. Very definitely. And then, of course, some pepper. You know this has got calamansi already. So this is a basic marinade for all your barbecues. You can introduce soy sauce. I just really don't want to change the color too much, right? Get it too dark. So let's keep it this way. So I think we're good. So you want to make sure your skewer is about as big as your pan so that you can lay it down there and it's not this way because it won't cook, right? This way. So chicken, put it in nice and tight, okay? And then let's go with some colored bell peppers. So as you can see, I'm using the colors to bring my Christmas menu, my Christmas spirit, right? red and greens and yellows, lovely. It smells so, 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 so good. And of course, we have to admit that the fruit and the pepper is going to give this flavor, beautiful flavor. If you want to use an onion chunk, as I said, go for it. 
So let's put in a third chicken here. So what I'm doing is, if you notice, I want to secure my peppers and my chicken. I don't want that to fall off. It'll happen. Don't, don't mind you, it'll happen. But uh, if you do it right, it usually works. Usually works. Okay. So this is very, very um, friendly for people who want to lose weight and who want to eat healthy. Every single dish we are serving you on our countdown to Christmas is going to be good for you and healing food. So I call kind of this your have your cake and eat it too, right? Of course, we will have a binge or two. Don't worry. And last but not least, let's put my chicken in there. So I have two skewers set up. You get the drill. You just keep on doing that. Let me wash my hands and we'll start. So I'm putting that on. And I am putting in some more of that lemon olive oil. Just a touch, remember. Remember that onto the chicken, right? And then last but not least, a bit of that salt. Lovely salt there. And that should be pretty hot. Let's see. Let's see. So that's oiled nicely. Not the pan, but the skewer. Ah, I can hear it. That's about the time you want to put that in. I can hear it and immediately I can smell that. Really, really beautiful. Happening already. Mm -hmm. mm. Simple recipes for the um, pescatarians. Now, if we were going to do a vegetarian, what do you think you do? Of course, I would always say go mushroom, right? Go mushroom. Go, uh, yeah, put in maybe some complex carbs, put in some camote in there. Mushroom and tofu, if you can get a good tofu, a nice firm Japanese tofu, you can as well. So I'm smelling that. And I think it's touching the ground. Now I'm using chicken breast because it cooks really, really quickly, right? Other parts of the chicken do take a little bit longer time. So now you know you can do a sort of barbecue grill sheet in your pan, indoors, right? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So you see, it's just like a barbecue, don't panic. That's so actually, my chicken's cooking already wonderfully well. You just want to make sure that it's flat onto your pan so that every part of your chicken and your veggies, your bell peppers, there you go, beautiful. Looking brilliant. So let him cook just a bit more. I like that charring on the pineapple and of course onto the um, bell peppers as well. Just some salt maybe. And believe it or not, we are almost done. That chicken breast is quite firm, but tender. It should be ready. And I shall turn off my heat, and I shall now start to plate. So there you have it. And as I said, here we have now our plate. And now our chicken skewers right on top. A hmm? little bit of a casualty right there. So, look at that beautiful dish. Of course, I'm making this just for me, for now. But if you're making for your family, then of course you would do a little more, right? Small servings. Anyway, enjoy this lovely, beautiful chicken skewers with cumin and turmeric. Of course, calamansi. A little bit of salt in there. Lemon olive oil, right? On our turmeric fried and lye with raisins and parsley and nuts. Absolutely the So if you like what you see and you are a lazy cook like me, well, I highly suggest you subscribe, like and share Sabrina's Kitchen on YouTube, please. And we are welcoming you into the Sabrina's Kitchen family. So come join us and let's create lovely dishes for those we love, okay? Subscribe, Sabrina's Kitchen.